Hey everyone, it's Assad here from Car Code. We're back with another video on a BMW 4 Series. Uh, this video is showing the BMW iDrive reboot issue. So what happens is on your head unit right here, every 30 seconds to a minute, it's gonna constantly reboot. Uh, you're stuck in this cycle indefinitely. Now, this is caused by a malfunction with the software. Uh, main dealers and other garages will tell you you need to replace the unit inside there which can cost um, a significant amount of money main dealers I know they charge up to two thousand pounds to replace the unit inside there uh, that is one way to fix it however that is not the way you should fix it if you want to save money and have a working head unit so look you can see already in this video it's been less than a minute so we started twice uh, what we're going to be doing is using our spe specialist tools uh, we're plugged in we've got a battery charger connected to the engine to maintain voltage we're going to be flashing the head unit uh, and coding it specifically to make sure this issue stays away from the car and permanently resolves it um, if you have an issue like this this applies to all 1 series, 2 series, 3 series, 4 series, 5 series, X1s, X2s, uh, some of the X3s as well, um, everything, even BMW i3s as well. If you have this head unit, which is the entry nav head unit, the 6.5 inch screen, you can see there, um, and it has a reboot issue like the one in front of you in this video, we can help you. Now I'm based in Northwest London, you can come down and visit me. Um, alternatively if you are in my service area I will travel to you and get this sorted it's a guaranteed fix service I do not charge you if I cannot fix it all I ask is using the contact information in the description below contact me send me a video with the issue and I can get you booked in as early as the same day I don't require you to leave the car with me you can stay with the vehicle it takes up to an hour to sort out you don't need to book it in weeks in advance or leave your car and be carless for the day come and see me you can wait with the car and i'll sort it out so this is the issue i'm going to show you in a moment what it looks like when it's programming so here we're currently loading up all the information uh, about the vehicle we are preparing it for a programming uh, for some programming to make sure that this issue does not happen again okay so we are programming the unit you can see here it's in the bootloader screen which is the programming screen this indicates that programming is um, in process and it should take just under an hour to complete with um, all the new software loaded on and all the old software removed On another note guys, just wanted to add, um, if you do go to somebody and they say they can fix it via programming, make sure you do your research on the company or individual that is doing the work for you because if they do the programming and they do it incorrectly, then you definitely need to replace that unit because they will ruin the unit. So yeah, um, I'm not telling everybody you have to use me because I know people can't travel or they have somebody closer to them. Um, just make sure you do your research and find out from reviews and other online feedback if the people that you're going to are capable of doing work like this. You don't want them to ruin the head unit. You don't want them to mess it up and have to pay twice for the same thing. So you're going to pay them for the programming that messes it up and then have to pay for a new unit. It just doesn't make sense. All right, guys. So we've just finished programming. Everything is all sorted. Uh, head unit's back on working. The navigation is no longer greyed out. Now you can see there, navigation is working. Before, when it had the issue, navigation wasn't working. So that's all good now. Um, we've got multimedia working, radio working. Everything is as it should be. This unit will not switch off now unless you switch the vehicle off. So, um, yeah, it's all sorted. Um, once again... Guys, if you're having the same issue, don't hesitate, get in touch. Use the contact details in the link, uh, not in the link, in the description down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And we can get you booked in and get your iDrive sorted.
threatening murder.